In this step, I'm going to show you three settings that you can turn on that may actually save your life. That is um, infinite undos, auto save, and incremental saving. As I have already said, Maya kind of likes letting you lose your work, and we need to put measures in place to prevent Maya from doing that. So let's look at how we do it. So the first thing we're going to do is enable auto save. So in order to do that, we're going to click on Windows. We're going to go to Settings and Preferences, and then go to Preferences. And then we'll just um, enlarge this window a little bit. And then in this window, we need to find the Files Project section. So we'll click on that. And then you will see that under the Auto Save section, you can put a tick in the box for Enable. And then you can set how often you would like that to happen. For me. 10 minutes is okay. I don't want it to save every two minutes because that will interrupt my workflow. Uh, and I don't want it saving every one hour because then if anything does happen like my crashes, then I might have to redo 59 minutes worth of work, which would make me really sad. So that's okay. The next thing we're going to look at is undos. By default, Maya only lets you undo 50 actions, which means um, if you have made a lot of changes, if you've been working on the project for a while, um, and you need to go back, you've realised that something went wrong at the sort of early stages, and you need to undo to get back to that stage, you might be 100, 200 actions um, down the line, and you're not going to be able to undo. So that means you're going to have to start again. So the way to um, give yourself unlimited undos is to scroll down to the undo section, and you'll see that undo is turned on. It should always be turned on. And at the moment, the queue says it's finite, and we can only have 50 actions. That's mental. Unless you're really low on RAM or something, um, you should never really, I think, have a queue size at all. So we're going to go to infinite. That means that no matter what we do, we can always go back to when we originally opened Maya. Press Ctrl and Z, and it'll take you right back to the beginning. Yes. The next thing we're going to turn on is incremental saving, and this really works in tandem with the auto save feature that we turned on earlier. What incremental saving means is that when Maya saves a scene, it gives it a new file name. So we'll start with room, and then the next one will be room one, then room two. And what that means is that if you've made a, a catastrophic error, and it happens a lot, believe me, uh, and you might have done that early on, and then everything you've done since that's built on that has just been wrong because of that mistake you made. Um, if you've just been saving over the same file, you can't go back because you've saved the changes in. But if you know that you made that error in room 4, then you can reopen the room 4 file uh, and then kind of branch off in a different direction. So it's a really, really useful feature. So in order to do that, we're going to click on save because we're doing this preferences window now. So we'll save those preferences. And to turn on incremental saving, that lives in a different area, we click on file. And then you'll see save scene, but to the right of it, there's a little box. Whenever you see one of those little boxes in Maya, that means there's some additional settings are available. Uh, and if you click on that, it will open a new window. So we'll do that. Here it is. And you can see that there is now a tick for incremental save. You can limit the amount that it does. I'm not going to do that. If you're short on storage space, then you might want to do that. But I've got plenty of storage space, so I'm just going to let it save as many as it needs. Uh, and then I'm just going to click on save and close. That now means that incremental saving is turned on and I'm less likely to make any mistakes that I can't come back from.